my pleasure to invite somebody who's, who's charting very significant stories in the healthcare industry and someone who actually started as a management trainee earlier in a stint at Wokhart Hospitals and went right up to the chief executive's post and today is the executive chairman, Asia Healthcare Holdings, AHH. Please put your hands together to welcome Shivishal Bali. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you, Manipal Hospitals, for this invite. When you look at healthcare in India, uh, we have concentrated a lot over the last almost a couple of decades around sick care. Uh, it is time that Indian healthcare actually contributes a lot more for healthcare, which is futuristic, which actually not necessitates hospital admissions, which basically creates a lot of wellness and prevention in society. That's the best that we can do for our future generations because if you look at the overall statistics, uh, the way they are emerging from the Indian subcontinent, particularly the rise of non-communicable diseases, uh, Indian healthcare will actually deal with more than about 65 million diabetic patients by 2030. That has a massive ripple effect in all other non-communicable diseases like cardiovascular disorders, lung diseases, and many others. So it is high time that India catches hold of its health. And obviously, you know, the generation which is coming now needs to do a lot more. As we've seen across the developed world and, you know, the cycles of change in the developed world, they all went through the same cycles where, you know, they went through the initial struggles and so their populations at that given point in time did exactly what our populations are going through now. Everybody was more focused on making a living. Nobody was really focused on making a life. As you see more now, that concept is beginning to change and people are talking a lot more about a work-life balance. People are talking a lot more about having good family life, People are talking a lot more about keeping themselves healthy. Almost everybody that you meet has some passion or the other in sports, which keeps them healthy, has some passion or the other in extracurricular activities. People have hobbies, they read, they go on treks. So there is that life element, which is actually keeping people a lot more healthier. We in this country actually need to go down the same path. We need to start getting a life. And initiatives like what Manipal is doing with Wellness at Work is a very important part of living a life. Basically because most of us take our stress from work and carry it forward in our homes. We have bad days at work and then we have very bad days at home. And who really gets the brunt of all this are our families and our immediate families, our children, our wives and spouses. So I think it's therefore very important that we keep our work environments that much friendlier, that much social. We all love deadlines and we will continue to love them because that's goal orientation and nobody is saying that we should not really have goal orientation. We should have goal orientation and aggressive goal orientation. But if you enjoy what you do and if you have that purpose and if your teams have that purpose, more work actually becomes less intense. And there is a massive theory around this that intense work is actually rest. But how you balance the two is really something that all of us need to wake up to. And as we live better lives, our families will live better lives and hopefully our children will even live much, much better lives. So this is a very good initiative in terms of changing the way we look at our work environments changing the way that we bring prevention and wellness at work and fundamentally giving Indians a new opportunity of living better quality of healthcare lives. So I'm so delighted to be here this afternoon and I do hope that initiatives like these continue to grow and good luck to Manipal for bringing this right in the forefront. Thank you. Thank you Vishal and I think uh, Amongst the many things that you said, the main takeaway and the interesting one is go get a life. You have heard from colleagues even when they go abroad for their stints, software engineers, let's say, 
always manage to get that particular time of leisure for themselves after their strict working hours. But here, there is really a very, very thin line and you're almost always carrying work home.